Yo, what's up? This is Professor Bill Durham from the 2009 Galapagos Field Seminar. Yeah, and right now yeah. we're touring the archipelago, trying to wrap our minds around the fast web of life on this planet. It's been changing, adapting for billions of years. That's what's so up. In honor of Darwin's 200th birthday, we're going to help educate you on how life goes. <laughs> so there's this little theory, some people fear it. But if you want to know the history of life, you got to hear it. And if you feel a leery, then stop and hear me. And what better place to start than with Charles Darwin? Dang. Got inspired by some finches. Not to mention Thomas Malthus and the struggle for existence. Think about it. If there were hella elephants growing exponentially, would none remain a celibate? We'd all be swimming in elemental juices. So what decides who survives and reproduces? Diverse competitors, environment conditions. Plus remember what CD learned from fidgeting with pigeons. By selecting their fates and making them, he could shape some pretty wild traces of creating them. And if man could do it, then why not natural forces? Diversity, heredity, plus struggle for resources. Combined together, weeding out the mocking birds whose lack of fitness leads to lack of offspring. The successful lineage is free to grow with evolution, and it started 3.5 million years ago. <laughs> this is how I build some 3.5 till. 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 This is how I build from 3.5 Yeah, the theories make it sense, but this is science, so where's your evidence? Well, life makes colossal moves, that's what fossils prove, and archaeopteryx should really jostle you. Plus, take a look at deoxyribose, nucleic acid in every cell that I know. The basic building blocks of life, in me, in your mama, in the llama, and in boobies. Plus in news, fleas, and protists. And comparing embryos and vertebrae should help you notice. You know this, so let's hit Galapagos, where we drop and flows while lava goes, stop and pose. Galapagos, it's evolution in the flesh. A few millimeters might mean life or death. Speciation got me feeling psychotic. Got 20 finch rims and they all freeze out. Like, the pouch, the fire, a cry of female's desire. A sexually selected trait that males acquire. An extraordinary adaptation, a freaking prerequisite for copulation. Amazing. The way that life keeps living, but the truth is, with humans, that's not always a given. So best to show some respect to life, lest ya forget we all share a common ancestor. Yeah, this is how life builds from 3.5 till. 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 Yo, 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 you know there are a lot of animals. Oh man, yeah, I think I saw a couple. Yeah, yeah, you know they all straight chillin'. Alright man, well tell me who's chillin'. There's kaboobies, you know they chillin'. Flightless cormorants is always chillin'. Marine iguanas, you know they chillin'. Galapagos sea lions are always chillin'. 